am Spooky Boko and I am frightfully delighted to welcome you tonight to partake in the ultimate sacrifice of latex and air and turn it into an ungodly spiritual being and as a really cute ghost. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Sonia and I'm from Rainbow Balloons and welcome to my latest balloon twisting tutorial. <laughs> Sorry they've been waiting as long as my friend Slim here. <laughs> but my boo and I are now ready to share with you my latest design. Would you like to see it? Would you? <laughs> I bet you would. And maybe you might like me to drop the crazy accent. <laughs> I have an exciting balloon tutorial in store for you. I think it's exciting. It's close to the witching hour here and everything is exciting when you love Halloween as much as I do. Uh, drop a comment below if Halloween happens to be your favourite holiday. Uh, count Christmas or don't. That's also right up there for me. Love it! <laughs> anyway, that balloon that I want to show you... Give me one moment. And here he is, the ultimate spiritual being, a ghost. <laughs> uh, oh, that accent's coming back, my apologies. But I'm going to share with you how to create this transparent specter. <laughs> Please don't be afraid, it's just a balloon. <laughs> All right, now you don't need too many balloons to get started with this fellow. We are going to use two balloons, that is one quick link and one 160 for the arms. Two balloons, that is frightfully good, I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> and now for what you've all been waiting for, let's let the magic begin. <gasps> and now I have magically gotten ready for you the inflation of this 12 inch quick link and the 160. Now you can also use a 260 and that will be perfectly fine, perfectly great, but I love how the 160 interacts with the 12 inch quick link. Now that I have overinflated it, I am going to soften it and start deflating the balloon until it's approximately the size of my noggin. <laughs> That's a pretty good likeness, isn't it? <laughs> now I am going to go ahead to tie off the knot, but I want to do it as close as I can towards the very end of the neck of the balloon. Just got it fairly loose there, but now I'm going to tighten it as I roll it towards the neck end of the balloon. And this is the shape that we're looking at. So it's round, but uh, we are going to twist it in two. Don't worry, it's not as horrible as it sounds. And we are thereby going to create the head and the body. Now, before we do that, we are going to transform this balloon into arms and hands. You know, those basic things of a ghost. Often has, they don't have too many features, do they? Mostly a head, a body, the arms. I'm going to start off by twisting a petal twist or a foam bubble there. Lock it in place by feeding the knot through. Following it by with a pinch twist. <laughs> How frightfully horrid! Let's get another. Don't worry, I always come prepared with spares. <laughs> so. Oh. 
one of the things that you might be familiar with if you work with balloons, jewel tones are not always as forgiving as opaque balloons. We just got to work with them maybe a little bit more gently than some of the more uh, standard or fashion colours that are available. Feeding that not through. Approximately one to two finger bubble. Now we're going to follow it with an arm and an elbow. Followed by two pinch twists for the neck. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt as much as it sounds. It's a little bit hard to see through or see the see through balloon, so I do apologise. But the transparent nature of the balloons make it perfect to do a spectre. Just going to repeat what I've done here. That is, create the arm, create either the hand, pinch twist, so basically repeating everything I've got here. Just rolling it around. I never like to end with a pinch twist. I find they might be more likely to unravel, so uh, I don't start or finish with them where I can avoid it. <laughs> now let's remove the excess. to pop it to the side for a moment and go ahead to revisit this uh, round rippling. Now I'm going to twist it in two and as I do so I am aiming to have a bigger head than in the body. So consider your proportions as you're twisting and you can manipulate the air back and forwards in that latex to help ensure that it comes out just right. Now rest assured this looks a lot less painful than it actually is. Oh wait! <laughs> okay, it's not painful at all unless the balloon pops then that's super painful. So I'm being gentle with my jewels. As I do so, just making sure that the head is a bit bigger than the body. And you can see a beautiful pear shape is formed by the interaction of the latex in the air and the end of the quick link. So I'm going to go ahead to take my arms and insert them into the join created between the neck and the body. Going to pull the balloons apart with my hands as I introduce the arms and neck bubble in. I'm just going to take one of those arms and wrap it around the neck. It's formed an interesting shape in there. what you want to do is position it as I will in a moment so you've got a pinch twist in the front and in behind and the arms are coming out to the sides of the pinch twist. Doing what I promise. And our arms are in. Now if you got this far congratulations because it looks super cute. <laughs> give it a bit of a push and you could finish it here if you wanted but we're going to give it a Casper-esque flick to the tail okay, give it a bit of a squish and I'm going to grab the nozzle area and try and wrap that into the neck area and we want it to hopefully be secure so that it's going nowhere <laughs> make your oh, 
hold your breath. Let's see if we can do this. So I'm just squeezing that air inside to push it towards the knot end. I'm going to hold that over. I'm grasping the knot and the nozzle. Pulling that up into the neck area. Take your time, it's not a race. Be considerate of how fragile you might find the transparent balloons to be. And honestly, if you don't leave them in the sun, they're actually pretty tough. I nearly died when I realized what I'd done. But luckily, I will not bore you with the details on just how many ghosts might have met her maker in trying to create this tutorial for you. However, I think we'll agree that it was worth all the sacrifice. Now, we've got our head. We have our body. We have our arms. We also have a really neat attachment point if you'd like to be hanging that from the ceiling or suspending it in such a way that the breeze blows it and moves it around. But let's give him his own personality and give him or her they want a face. And I'll give it to them. <laughs> I have my two handy markers whenever you're drawing on balloons remember do not use alcohol based um, or <laughs> well you'll find out but it will pop your balloon so use ones that are alcohol free I love sharpies uh, black sharpie is perfect for the details we want to do but I'm going to use my favorite one here the Pentel maxi flow one with the ink rejuvenator it's a bit like Frankenstein bringing a pen back from the dead when you can resaturate the colour into the nib as needed. Pretty good. Now, I'm going to <laughs> not discard him so readily, but decide what side do I want to have the face on, and I think this looks pretty good. Honestly, same, same. Not too different. But I'm going to go ahead to draw the eyes through teardrops. I'm just going to give him a ooh, traditional kind of mouth. This one is a little bit narrower at the top and rounded at the bottom. Really gives you that feeling of dread. <laughs> okay, is that just me? Now let's give him a bit of personality with the eyebrows. It's all about the eyebrows. <gasps> Doesn't that look frightful? Or you can go for a more cutesy kind of look. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Whatever is your delight. Or you can do one of each like this, which also looks kind of cute. Decide if you'd like to give him a nose or not. I don't not on this occasion, but you can do what you will with yours. And I'm going to use a red sharpie, like a ready orange sharpie really, but I don't know. Let's give it cheeks.
pretty straightforward, pretty cute, just adding those little circles. Now, as a final touch, I like to use a white marker. The white Posca paint pen is one that is frightfully delightful <laughs> for drawing on balloons. It is a water-based marker. Do not use those alcohol-based or oil-based. <laughs> Again, you'll find out what I mean if you make that unfortunate mistake. Do a bit of a teardrop shape there. Now the light source is the same from both directions. So make sure any details that you draw in regards to the shine Uh, identical, not mirror air images. images. <laughs> pretty cute, pretty fun. And if you want to add a final bit of personalization to your boo, why not write the word boo? <laughs> Let the world know what your ghost is trying to communicate without a Ouija board. that tutorial <laughs> I am so glad that I could finally share it with you <laughs> I'm just looking for his friend and here they are don't they make a wonderful dynamic dastardly duo <laughs> I like to think so <laughs> this is spooky boko wishing you a horribly wonderful Halloween or a spectacularly spooky bash and you have a wonderful wonderful evening goodbye